welcome back to online classes in this video let us learn about capital and types of capital capital plays a very significant role in modern production system as you already know capital is the money fund which is required to start or establish a company and when it comes to the types of capital you must know the significance of capital significance means the importance of capital while the company is starting and uh, to the end of the company it means uh, the insolvency of the company for running the successful business uh, capital is necessary it has a strategic role in enhancing productivity capital is necessary not only for micro enterprises but also to the governments capital is a scarce resource and every country has to utilize the same judiciously it is very difficult to imagine the process of production without capital because in day to day life of a business or to an individual the necessity of money is highly essential and required need for the capital so need for the capital means the business needs for the capital is varied which is depends upon the type of business generally you can identify various needs like to promote a business to conduct business operation smoothly to expand and diversify to meet contingencies to pay taxes to replace the assets to pay dividends and interest to support welfare programs and to wind up even at the time of winding up the company may need funds to meet the liquidation expenses and uh, to pay for its uh, shareholders like uh, debenture holders as well as preference shareholders let us discuss uh, the types of capital the capital is divided into two types they are fixed capital and uh, working capital fixed capital is the portion of capital which is invested in acquiring long term assets such as uh, land buildings plant and machinery furniture and fixtures which is highly required to establish the structure of the business these assets are not meant for resale because uh, the company has to utilize it and this, these assets are the basic requirements of the company so that so that this fixed capital is permanent in nature profit generation and low liquidity amount of fixed capital utilized for promotion and expansion these are the features of fixed capital let us see one by one so permanent in nature means here with the fixed capital the company is purchasing or establishing the building plant and machinery and furnitures which are fixed and more or less they are permanent in nature it is generally not withdrawn as long as business carries on the business and next one is profit generation these fixed assets are the sources of profits but they can never generate profits by themselves they use stock cash and debtors to generate profits because that is the source for doing the business for production for keeping the stock and uh, for physical uh, existence of the company so these fixed capital is uh, a witness and low liquidity the fixed assets cannot be converted into cash quickly 
liquidity refers to the conversion of assets into cash while the conversion of uh, this fixed uh, capital assets it has some depreciation p- value over a period of time so that it cannot generate uh, or turn up into cash quickly and uh, its value will also be depreciated and next one is amount of fixed capital the amount of fixed capital of a company depends on a number of factors such as size of the company nature of business method of production and s- so a manufacturing company such as steel factory may require relatively large finance when compared to a service organization such as a software company or uh, an educational institution so the amount of fixed capital is varied to the type of a uh, business and uh, the last one is uh, utilized for promotion and expansion the fixed capital is mostly needed at the time of promoting the company to purchase the fixed assets or at the time of expansion modernization in other words uh, the needs for fixed capital arises less frequently of course spending the money or the fixed capital on fixed assets is not frequently occurred once a while while expansion and growth growth or developing the organization these fixed assets are required and uh, the company may use the fixed capital so with this fixed capital company will purchase this fixed assets let us see what are the types of uh, fixed assets here the fixed assets are divided into three types they are tangible fixed assets intangible fixed assets financial fixed assets let us uh, discuss one by one financial fixed assets these are investments in shares foreign currency deposits government bonds shares held by the business in other companies so these are the fixed assets and which will help the company for their its growth and expansion as well as to maintain the good relations with the uh, society government as well as the other companies for the promotion of business and sometimes these investments will also help at the time of insolvency as well as uh, to end up the business or to develop uh, expand the business in future and next one is intangible fixed assets these fixed ex- assets do not have a physical existence they cannot be seen and touched but these are very valuable to business for example goodwill brand names trademarks patents copyrights and so on so with this company may acquire some some right over their brand their trademarks and their products and services as well as their brand ambassadors and for their services also it has some uh, intangible uh, uh, fixed value towards the business and next one is uh, tangible fixed assets these are having physical existence and can be seen and touched for example land building machinery furniture and motor vehicles which have a physical existence will comes under this tangible fixed assets and the next type of uh, capital is known as a uh, working capital generally after having after satisfying with the fixed assets the company will look into the working capital because this is highly essential to run the operations and the functionality of the business for day to day existence uh, the every company needs a uh, working capital that's why it is known as flesh and blood of the business it is the portion of capital that makes a company work 
It is not just possible to carry on business with only fixed assets. Working capital is a must and it is also known as a circulating capital. In short, working capital is the amounts needed to cover the cost of operating the business. So in daily life of the company, it needs a working capital to proceed with the its operations and components of working capital. From the accounting point of view, working capital is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. Current assets uh, means, uh, say for example, cash. Cash is required uh, to pay salaries, office expenses and to pay credit cards for purchases. So stock of the raw material is also a current uh, asset. Stock of finished goods is also a current assets, debtors, prepaid expenses, bills, receivables. So these are all the examples of uh, current assets. Then uh, current liabilities, creditors, the people whom we purchase on credit basis, these are current liabilities. It means the company, uh, the, the money which the company should pay is known as a uh, current liability accruals, bills payables, um, accruals such as uh, uh, in interest, salaries, taxes. So these are all uh, expenses by the company so that after uh, subtracting the liabilities from the current assets uh, will get working capital. And uh, there are few features of working capital. They are uh, short life uh, lifespan smooth flow of operations, liquidity, amount of working capital utilized for payment of current expenses. So with the, with the working capital, the company can utilize it for payment of uh, current expenses. Amount of uh, working capital is varied with the size of the company as well. The assets represented by the working capital can be converted into cash quickly within a short period of time unlike fixed assets. So the uh, assets which, uh, which, which the company can use uh, as a working capital can be converted easily. So uh, the money market uh, instruments will come under this point. Yes, with this we have completed the types of capital. Thank you so much.